What's going on you guys? Welcome back to EP09. Alright, so the next show that we have in the 2024 bodybuilding season is actually another Arnold Classic. We have the Arnold Classic Brazil in only two and a half weeks, and we have some top tier athletes that will be competing at that show. And the first one that I want to look at in this video is Tony O'Burton. Tony O looks so much improved from the Olympia from a size standpoint. It's actually insane to consider he could have gained this much size in that short amount of time. He looks bigger through the shoulders, bigger through the arms, the quads actually look like they have more sweep to them, but that conditioning factor, it looks like Tonio will be bringing that signature conditioning. Tonio actually relocated to Brazil in order to prepare for this show. At about the four week mark, he ended up making the trip down there, and he's been training there ever since. And I think it is safe to say that this will be the best version of Tony O'Burton that we've ever seen. The only thing that Tony O really needed to do is gain more size, and he needed to keep that waistline tight at the same time. And it looks like he's definitely accomplished that at this point. And he'll also be going up against some pretty serious mass monsters. We know that Carlos Thomas Jr. has been preparing for the Arnold Classic Brazil as well. Beirut's Tabani actually did receive his visa, so he's planning to compete here. Rafael Brandau in his own right has gained a lot of size. So Tonio is definitely gonna have his hands full from a size standpoint. But, I do think that he is gaining that size in order to hang with these mass monsters. Now combine that with his aesthetics, and he's going to be a very, very difficult champion to beat. And stay tuned for the next episode of the Bodybuilding Breakdown, you guys. I'm actually going to have Tony O'Burton on with Kareth Bajo, and I'm going to have Robin Strand. So that's going to be a really, really exciting episode. That'll come out in the next couple of days here. But we're going to keep moving on here, and we're going to check out some of the latest updates from Raphael Brandau. Now, Raphael, like I said, really did put on a significant amount of size. And now that we've seen him really dialed in with that increased size, we know that this guy who placed top 10 at the 2022 Olympia can easily, easily come back and place that again. And since he's already really dialed in since the Arnold Classic Ohio, this is a guy that's already in shape. So he really just needs to cruise into the show, maybe make some slight improvements. I think he could have been a little bit fuller at the Arnold Ohio, but otherwise, Raphael is going to be a serious contender for that title. And you know, he really is on home turf as well. So that's going to make a difference. And Rafael Antonio really do have a lot of the same attributes when it comes to really pushing those aesthetic factors because both of them are very, very aesthetic bodybuilders. From a size standpoint, I'm not really sure who's bigger at this point because like I said, we've seen Rafael on a stage, but we haven't seen Tonio since he's gained this added size on a bodybuilding stage. So that's a comparison that I'm really looking forward to seeing. In these updates here, there's no question. Raphael does look really good. He's definitely maintained that conditioning, maybe with a slight rebound, but you know, that's only something that can serve him well going into the Arnold Brazil. I do think that we're going to see Raphael come in bigger, fuller, and hopefully he does keep that signature conditioning. Because I think it is safe to say that a guy like Beirut Tabani, even Carlos Thomas Jr., of course, they will be bigger than these guys on stage. We know that Beirut can bring the conditioning from what we saw at the Romania Pro recently, and the question with Carlos Thomas Jr. will be if he can bring that conditioning. Hopefully, we'll see some updates from Carlos here soon, but you guys, this Arnold Brazil is really shaping up to be an exciting show. You guys let me know in the comments below where you think Rafael Brandau and Tony O'Burton can place against mass monsters like Beirut Tabani and Carlos Thomas Jr. All right, next up, we have an update here from our current 212 Mr. Olympia, Keon Pearson. Now, Keon is currently sitting at 230 pounds, and this is definitely an improved version of Keon. It looks like the legs have actually grown when it comes with a quad sweep. He looks wider across the shoulders. I think the arms have grown. It looks like he's made improvements from the back when it comes to the overall width. And the arms actually look, <laughs> the arms look absolutely massive when it comes to that back double bicep. And we know that Keon is not the kind of bodybuilder that takes any amount of time off. Especially being coached by Patrick Tor, there is really no such thing as any amount of time off when it comes to being coached by Patrick Tor. Keon says here, not skipping one beat, staying in my little bubble and doing everything I can to execute each day better. His current morning weight, 229.9 pounds, cardio only 30 minutes a day, and mindset, title number two. So this is a guy that has not taken a break since the Olympia, and I really think that you can tell when it comes to these updates. He's bigger, he's better overall, and although he is 230 here, I don't think he'll have any problem making that 212 weight cap. He is bigger, but 230 in comparison to just shredding down 18 pounds at this point, 
I mean, he's going to lose at least 6 pounds, 8 pounds in just water, you guys. So this is definitely going to be a bigger version of Keon Pearson that we will see at the 2024 Olympia. And I think these updates that we're seeing from Keon, especially since we are still so far from the 2024 Olympia, is making his competition very, very nervous. All right, last up, speaking of putting on some significant size, we have some updates here from Andrew Jack while he continues his offseason. And you guys, it is actually crazy how big we're actually seeing Andrew Jack right now. And that is the one thing that Andrew Jack was really missing. He has the aesthetics. We know that he can get conditioned. Really, it just came down to that size factor. And Andrew Jack really does look a lot bigger, you guys. The arms look bigger. I think he looks bigger through the chest. But still... Considering the fact that he is in the middle of his offseason, he still has a very defined midsection. I mean, this is easily the best midsection in bodybuilding as far as I'm concerned. Now, I did hear even bodybuilding actually report that Andrew Jack will be competing at the Dubai Pro. But to be completely honest with you guys, I haven't heard that he's going to be competing there from anywhere else. He has not confirmed that himself as far as I know. So... Who knows, you guys? But, you know, it would make sense to me that he competes in this show. I mean, he lives in Dubai, he trains at the B News gym, so it would be something that makes sense. But I really have no idea. I would love to see him compete at that show. Especially, I would love to see him win that $100,000. But we'll see if Andrew actually confirms that himself soon. But this is looking like a much more complete package from Andrew Jack. The only thing that Andrew was ever missing at this point was really just more size. That's all he needs. Everybody's been saying it from the second that he graced that Olympia stage in 2022. You put another 10 to 12 pounds on this guy overall, and he's Mr. Olympia. I don't know if he's still working with Chris Aceto. I doubt that he's going to go back and work with Chris Psycho Lewis. I don't think that that style of training really worked for Andrew at the end of the day. I think it worked to get him shredded, but now I think Andrew needs to continue doing what he's doing now and just play the size game. The guy knows how to train. He trains hard. He trains heavy. And as he continues to grow, I think we're going to see a much more dangerous version of Andrew Jack in 2024 than we've seen in previous seasons. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this version of Andrew Jack and where do you think Andrew actually will compete this year? Will he go and compete in Dubai? Or is he going to pick a show strategically to try and go and actually get his Olympia title? Will he go back to compete and defend his Texas Pro title? You guys let me know below. Anyway, that's it for me in this video, you guys. Thank you for tuning in to EP09. Be sure to like and subscribe.